Dan Fishers. I'm Bill Jodopoulos, the host of the Anfish Fishing Vlog Series. Uh, the video I'm shooting right now is about um, trying to find good spots uh, to fish. Uh, the one thing I rely on is just my senses. Um, kind of observe where people are, where people fish, uh, when they leave a spot, maybe go check it out, uh, stuff like that. But I also rely a lot on um, the wildlife. Um, if you start seeing uh, falcons or hawks diving in a certain area, uh, it might be worth checking out. If you start seeing a lot of uh, seagulls, birds, seabirds, um, you know, piled up, just kind of a big circle in the water, um, kind of nose diving uh, on bait, good place to check out. Um, if you start, you know, I'm here in open water right now. If there was a, a big rock shoal here, again, another place worth checking out. Uh, island, if there's an island around here, another good place to check out. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this blog uh, is I get, uh, again, I get a lot of questions on stuff like that, where to find fish, how to locate structure, uh, stuff like that. But a lot of people will come out to a body of water, and I know this body of water very well, but they'll come out and not know where to start. Um, so, you know, you start casting your shoreline, work your way out, uh, but look for stuff like that. Look for breaches. Uh, if you're in the shallows, you know, looking for bass, um, look for the reeds that are kind of moving around. Uh, it could be a swimming fish, could be a big bass just sitting there sunning itself or waiting to ambush uh, a bait. Um, but the best thing you can possibly do out here is just observe. Uh, a lot of breaches, I'm going to go over and investigate why there were breaches there. I might see bait fish, I might see uh, bass. I don't know if you've ever seen this. I've seen it a few times in my life. A big bass comes up and just comes torpedoes out of the water uh, through a bait, uh, school of uh, bait fish and just gets a big gulp full. Um, stuff like that. If you're very observant, uh, you can actually find some really good fishing spots. Uh, you can actually have a lot of productive fishing days. But if you're not observant, uh, that's where you start missing a lot of these things. Uh, you know, again, we've all learned this. This goes back uh, many, many, many years where people say, you know, where you, where you see birds, you're going to want to fish 100%. Uh, I mean, I've seen, you know, schools of birds, just flocks of them sitting on the water, nose diving, whether they're ducks, uh, again, or seabirds or hawks or diving down. Uh, look for stuff like that. Once you start seeing stuff like that, it really does make your uh, break your day uh, and it actually lets you get a little bit better fishing as well because now you start realizing hey you know what I'm going to start checking some of these spots out because when I do check these spots out and I've cast around those birds before you don't get right into the birds you just kind of go in there they'll swim slowly off and you'll try and investigate why they were there uh, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye out um, sorry I just got a passing boat here and I'm backing up a little bit uh, but it's just it's definitely worth keeping an eye out. Uh, when you start seeing stuff like that and you get more observant on the water, you'll actually uh, learn a lot more um, when it comes to you know where what spots you should be fishing in, what spots you shouldn't be fishing in, where you might find fish, why you haven't found fish. Uh, it doesn't mean every time you go near uh, an area where there's a bunch of birds you're going to catch fish. The point is to be observant. The more observant you are, uh, you know, if I was up flipping for bass and I'm in some shallows, you know, two feet of water, I'm going to look for shadows. I'm going to look for those bass. I might look for that tail. I might look for that fin that pops out of the water. And these are a lot of things we get so excited when we come out here to catch fish that we forget uh, to be observant. Um, you know, there's a spot out here just in front of me and I saw a pike, you know, it wasn't a huge pike, but I saw about a 24 inch pike sitting there sunning itself in about a foot of water. Uh, this was last season. And, um, you know, I flipped out a, a Texas rig worm and he hit right away and it was a battle in one foot of water. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. Just be observant for stuff like this. Uh, when you're out on the water, like I said, excitement kicks in. Um, we want to catch fish. We do our darndest to get out here and try and catch fish. You know, you know people love the terminology of getting skunked. Uh, they don't know why it happened. They don't know what they did wrong. Uh, but, you know, having those eyes glued to the water and glued to the structure and glued to the land and looking at the wildlife, the wildlife can tell you a lot about where to locate fish. Uh, and again, birds are my number one little... Uh, source uh, that I use here, you know, if there's a big flock of birds over there, I'm going to kind of try and get near them, maybe cast around them before they all take flight or they swim away. Uh, but there's definitely something, you know, there's a reason why they're there. Um, 
if they're in a, you know, in definitely nose diving and feeding, then I know there's bait fish there. If there's bait fish there, there's going to be fish. Um, it's just the rule of thumb that I follow, and I try and do the best I can out here when I'm out here uh, to, to shoot a lot of these videos that can actually benefit a lot of you out there so you can have and enjoy more productive fishing days. So um, keep an eye out, guys. Like I said, just keep those eye, uh, those eyes glued to the water. Good pair of uh, polarized glasses. Don't need to be expensive. Uh, just a good pair uh, will really uh, help you do that. Again, you can locate birds from a distance. Uh, you can see down in the structure from, uh, from way up high as well. Uh, so it's a good thing to do. And I uh, hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you at my next video blogs.